when we last left uh, this project, if you're following along sequentially, uh, we put the angles in and drop these four holes into this body piece. Now we need to go ahead, um, and I'm going to show you something a little bit different that I didn't show in class. We are going to model the legs and maybe the neck. We're going to model the legs and neck uh, in context. In con um, and, and what that means is using the body that we just created, we're going to drive the geometry for the legs and for the neck. <clears throat> so. Uh, what we need to do, all right, the only thing I've done now is I've saved this and called it body two because when you do an assembly, you need all your parts to be saved uh, or it just simply doesn't work. And so now we're going to go, we have this part. Let's go ahead and make an assembly. And you'll notice it comes in blank. If you want to save this, we can go ahead and say, you know what, let's call this reindeer two. Oops. We'll call it Reindeer 2 as an assembly. It's always nice to have it saved. And then we're going to have Place Component. Make sure it doesn't save Place from Content Center. Just straight up Place. We'll pick our Body 2. We'll open it. We'll place it. And then we'll hit Escape because we only want to put the 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and say uh, View uh, Visual Style because right now we're just on Shaded. I normally run it with Shaded with Edges because it's a little bit easier for me to see. But we're going to say... Uh, shaded with, well, we'll just leave it shaded with edges. We could do shaded with hidden edges. Let's just see what's going on. A little bit easier. It's up to you what you what you really want. So now we have this. We have a part, okay, in an assembly. Uh, what's the first thing we do? We always ground that first part. So we're going to go ahead, right click, and say grounded. So it can't go anywhere, just like when you're grounded by your parents. And now I can't drag it around. So now it is it is grounded and it cannot move. So what we're going to do now is, um, so we could go and we could make some cylinders and then we could bring those in. But what we're going to do is we're going to model those uh, legs, right, those cylinders, uh, as part of, in context with this body. Okay. So if we go over here to assemble, right, we normally have used place because we'll place a part file from somewhere else. But we could also use this create. All right, which basically creates a part or assembly in an existing assembly. So we're going to say create, all right, and it's going to ask me for the component. So I'm going to do a leg. So we'll call this leg two because I'm naming everything um, <clears throat> with the uh, two Roman numerals after it. And then it's going to say it's going to save it to my inventor and then my in my project folder 5.8 reindeer example files. So make certain you pay attention to where you're saving it, otherwise you'll be asking me and I will have no idea and then we can't find your file. Okay, so this is leg two, it's in this directory and you're just gonna hit okay. All right, if you get confused, look down here to the bottom left, it's gonna tell you uh, what you need to do next. Okay, so it says select sketch plane for base feature. Okay, so it wants me to pick a plane uh, that's going to be low, that will locate um, the first feature of this of this leg that we're going to we're going to do and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the bottom of this cutout alright so the bottom of the cutout that's going to be a plane that I'm going to draw my first sketch on so when I click it and I think I may have just clicked the Let's see if I can, no, I clicked the right thing. I thought I, somehow I thought I clicked the uh, cylinder there for a second, but now I've got the right thing. So when I hit start 2D sketch, you'll notice a little bit tiny um, coordinate system, right? Here's my three planes, and it's in, it's attached to that, that face I picked. All right, so it aligned my coordinate system based upon that face. And then all I need to do is go ahead and pick the plane um, that is... Um, in the orientation that I want, which is this. Now, you may have to rotate this around. I've done this long enough that I can kind of just know. You might have to rotate this around Do you figure out, oh, okay, that's the plane I want. So we'll pick this flat plane here, and then we're going to draw our sketch. All right, I can go circle, and I could do that, but I don't want to do that, right? We're, we're using the geometry of this body to drive the geometry of the legs. So what I'm going to do is project geometry. All right, so I'm going to click that. And then I can pick this circle here that's part of the body, or I can pick this circle here, which is the bottom of the hole out in the body. And then that's going to project, it's going to project that line onto my leg. 
And so when I hit finish sketch, those are going to be exactly the same size. Okay. And the cool thing is if I go back and change the whole size in the body, it's going to change the whole size in the leg as well. So they're all, they're all attached and they're all going to move together. So I have that. So I have a sketch and you'll notice that it's saying that, Hey, these are, these are attached together. Um, I think they call it, I don't remember exactly what they call it. Uh, it'll tell us in just a second. I think, uh, we hit extrude. And then if we look at this from this side, let's look at it from the front. Okay. Then, so I'm extruding and you'll notice that is exactly, it's exactly as, um, uh, it's exactly fitting the hole that's there. So I'm going to come up, I'm going to, I'm going to make this a fancy leg. I'm going to come up to where I just barely clear the edge of that circle there. And you can kind of see it there. I'm just barely clearing. Okay, I might need to go a little bit more and then I'm going to go and make another circle and then bring that out even wider and it's going to look really, really cool. So I'm going to bring it down to here. Why not? Uh, we can make this like, let's say 4.75 and then that's going to be uh, a nice round number. I hit OK. And then now I have, you can see I have a part sitting inside that. Now, notice this is all grayed out. This is because we are still in the leg part file. Uh, it just, you can see the rest of the assembly. If we hit this return, it will take us back to um, the entire assembly. Uh, so we can go and do something else. So we're going to go in here. We're going to make another sketch. I'll drop my circle in. All right, maybe look at this from the front to see if that size is, so that size is looking a little big. So let's go ahead and dimension this. And let's say this is 5.75 and this can make it a little bit smaller. If I click on the front, then I can look here and say, okay, I'm clearing my body there. Uh, finish the sketch, extrude it. And I can look here to figure out how long I want to make the legs. And now that I'm looking at that, that is a really thick leg. It's not proportional. I probably want to go back and change that, but let's make that 24 inches long. And you can kind of, you can see, hey, you know what? Um, that leg is really, really fat. Okay. And maybe we don't want that. So we could go back and change, uh, edit the sketch here, uh, 5.75. That's really, let's go for. Okay. And then we can say, hey, you know what? That looks a whole, 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 whole lot better. Okay. And then that, that leg is done. So I can hit return. All right, I can save the whole mess, okay? So what you want to make sure to do, it's gonna save files requiring save, and it says the reindeer and the leg. You wanna make sure that yes, you can hit yes to all, that way everything is saved. And do you wanna save this? Again, it shows you exactly where they are, and then you hit okay. All right, uh, so now we have the leg there. And so the leg is in. Um, so now we need to go ahead and put the other legs in there. Okay, so all we have to do now is we can just go place. We've just saved that. So here is, if we go down through here, we'll see our leg two, all right? So we can hit open and then we can drop three more in there, hit escape. And then from there, all right, so now we can go ahead and go ahead and place, constrain these up and then our legs are in place. Um, so there's two ways you can do this. Um, you can do one that requires two constraints. And so that is, um, we'll pick the cylinder and we'll pick the cylinder and hit um, apply. And then you'll notice I can still move in and out. And so then I have to constrain it a second time and click the bottom there and click the bottom there. And then that will constrain it. And you, you'll say, Mr. D, you always say you have to constrain it three ways. This will actually still rotate. So I can grab this and I can rotate it in the slot. Um, it's just cylindrical, so it doesn't really look like it's rotating. But if this was square, you could see it rotating, and you could lock it down with a plane. So inside inside the leg, you can go into the origin, pick the plane, and then you can see that as you rotate it, right, as you rotate it, that plane is also rotating. And so you could say, you know what, I want this to be parallel to this plane, uh, and then lock that rotation down. Uh, the other way you can do this, and I think... Um, it can be a little bit um, 
kludgy. It could be a little bit, uh, so we can use insert. So I click this right here where it says insert. It can be a little troublesome sometimes. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so you can click the insert. Uh, we can say, you know what, I want to insert this into this, and it automatically puts both of those constraints on there. Um, and then we can do this one. It um, So we can click down here. Now see, when we get here, you see how it's it's selecting the, this is where it gets cumbersome. See how as I go through here, I'm picking the axis, but it's highlighting a face as well. So we have to make certain we get the face that we want um, and then pick the cylindrical part that we want. And that's how it knows I want this cylindrical cylinder hole um, aligned as well as the two faces that's, that it aligns. So we hit apply and then there our deer is suddenly looking a whole lot more like a deer. Okay, so that's way you can use um, <coughs> you can use uh, building it in context to very very quickly go and build your deer. All right, and then if we went back and said, you know what, I really want to change the shape of these legs. I want to go into the body. And you say, you know what, this is currently, so that's the first extrusion. There's the second, there's the second extrusion. So I can go and say, you know what, uh, edit the sketch. And instead of these being three inches, come on. Instead of these three inches, we want those to be 2.5. So the holes would be a little slightly smaller. Finish the sketch, it's gonna go smaller. And then when I come back to my assembly, all right, Notice that it is updated. So I made those holes smaller, and then now suddenly my leg has automatically updated, and it has also grown smaller. All right, so if I go into here and open up this leg and do a measurement, all right, that measurement is saying the diameter, it's still saying it's three. Uh, it's So do we, oh, so see this little lightning bolt here? It's saying it's out of date. So I don't have, normally I have it turned on to automatically update. If we right click that, um, how do we update it really quickly? Okay, so here, so when you see the lightning bolt, it means it's out of date, so I can click it. Let's click this button here, and we can locally update it, it regenerates the active part, or we can do a global update, which regenerates everything. I think if I do a, a local update, uh, it's going to get everything. So yeah, so now that is smaller. So you can click that little button, it'll automatically update, and then you're good to go. Normally, I change the... the um, so now if I measure this, I'll change my settings so it does that automatically. Now that's 2.75. So that changed automatically uh, based upon um, me changing the size of the hole in the body. Okay, so I changed this part, it changed the leg, and it updated the assembly when I forced it to using this button here with the local update. All right, so hopefully that helps.